He says, does a wife have to cook for her husband? What does Islam say about a wife who does not want to cook for her husband? The issue of a wife serving her husband is debatable. And it's an issue of dispute among scholars since a very long, long time, as most of these issues. However, without going into details, if we look at the institute of marriage itself, it is very difficult to draw the line as obligations and rights. So I will not give you your rights until you do your obligations. And she says, I'll not give you your rights until you fulfill your obligations as well. This is a marriage bound to failure. And definitely this is not the right way of communicating and living. So if we would like to know how to handle these things, we have to go back to the best of generations, to the best time of humanity, and that is the time of the Prophet The most authentic opinion is that a woman is obliged to serve her husband and her children, and that is it. She's not obliged to serve her in-laws, her father and mother-in-law. This is not her duty. But she is obliged to serve her husband. And you can see this clearly in a number of hadiths where the Prophet ﷺ addresses Aisha and the rest of his wives by saying, prepare food for us, bring the food to us. In the hadith of Asma bint Abi Bakr, who was married to Az-Zubair ibn al-Awwam, may Allah be pleased with them all, she says that I used to cater for Az-Zubair's horse and I used to feed the horse and take care of him. And I would travel to bring him the necessary food and to, to take care of that horse. If you look at the hadith of Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet who used to work in her house until it affected the softness of her hands. So she went to the Prophet seeking a slave to help her in the shores of the house. The Prophet did not tell her, why should you do this? You're not obliged to work. No. He told her, I will teach you something if you say it, it would be better for you than a servant. So from all of this, we learn, we understand that a woman is obliged to serve her husband. Now, if she says, no, I'm not obliged to serve him, in this case, the husband may say, okay, I'm only obliged to give you shelter, which is a house, to clothe you, so I'll buy you one garment a year and to feed you and I'll bring you the food on the table. That is it. I'm not obliged to do anything else. Would marriage move on? Would it be full of compassion and love? Or would it be something like a feud between two partners in a losing transaction or partnership? This is definitely not the right way of doing it.